Hello, Clark team. This is the first in a series of um, focused videos uh, showing you how to accomplish different things um, on the website, make some edits, etc. Uh, this first one is sort of just a very basic WordPress overview. So if you're already familiar with WordPress, you may not need to um, review this one. This is just some basics about how to get around on the back end of the site. This is the view of the dashboard. Um, as you can see, that's what's highlighted here in the menu on the left. This down the left hand side is your main menu for getting around uh, and editing different pieces of the site. This is where you'll land when you first get logged into the site. Um, I don't think we're going to bother covering too much here right now. I, I will tell you that these things can be moved around uh, and they are specific to your view. Um, so if you do end up wanting to use these things, you can rearrange uh, where these items show up, uh, organize them differently. The main piece I'll show you here is that this is where the tutorial videos will live. Uh, this first one that shows up here is just sort of a, a generic WordPress um, overview. I don't know, you may want to look at that at some point. As I start adding the videos, including this one, there, this will add a scroll bar here and you'll be able to scroll down and see them all um, in this list. Um, so this may be one that you want to move, you know, right up top here, especially when you're first uh, learning how to get around in here. Um, I do like to keep a tab open for the front end and the back end so that when I'm making edits, uh, I can easily click over here and see if the edit is uh, has taken place or not, uh, see what it all looks like. Um, the items that you will mostly be using here, uh, at some point we'll be adding events and that's where that will live is right here, uh, but we don't have that just yet. So mainly you'll be dealing with careers, activities, calls to action, guides, videos, games, books, scavenger hunts, and glossaries. So you're pretty much focused right in here and, and pages is the other one, uh, which is how you edit the pages on the site. So. Um, a lot of this stuff further down you don't need to worry about, uh, you know, and some of these items up here we won't be using either. For these items that I just mentioned over here, pages, careers, activities, etc., the view for those is very similar. Once you click on one of these items, you'll see a list, whether that's a list of pages or careers or activities, you'll see them all listed out here. Uh, obviously the site uh, is quite large, and so sometimes finding things can be a little bit difficult. Uh, here are some helpful tips for getting around here. Uh, you'll see as I scroll, um, right now these are listed and it's showing you the um, hierarchy of the site. So if you like looking at it this way, that's great. Electricity, you know, conservation comes under electricity, distribution comes under electricity. This is showing you that's a third tier item, distribution map. Um, comes under distribution, etc. It can be helpful to just look at them strictly alphabetically if you're looking for something in particular. So you can click right here on the title, the column title, and then it just puts everything in alphabetical order regardless of hierarchy. So that can make it extremely easy to find what you're looking for. Um, one thing that can be confusing when you're starting out is, you know, we're looking here and we know, we're like, oh, why does it end here at Energy Detective? I know there's a bunch of pages that start with things after E, like um, Urban Farmer or whatever it might be. Where's that page? If we look over here, we can see we're limited to um, a view of, you know, 20 or something items here. And so it's all paginated here. What you can do and again, this is specific to each each person who's logged in. So uh, you can come right up here to screen options. I think it defaults for a new user to 20. So you can just up this. I wouldn't go too much above 100. It can make it a, a drag on the site, but we'll go ahead and up that to 100. And now you can see it doesn't end at Energy Detective. We go all the way on down through all of the pages on the site, and we can access any one of those that way. Um, we also, again, on any of these items, whether it's guides, call to action, activities, 
Um, that same screen options thing is there. You can set the number of, of items per page that show up. There's also on any of those a search function. And the search function changes what it's searching for based on what you're on. So if you're on pages, you're only going to be searching the actual pages. If you're on careers, you're only going to be searching careers. So right here, if for whatever reason, I, even after it's alphabetized, we couldn't find it, we can type in urban, hit return, and there's our urban farmer right there. Uh, you can also um, sometimes, you know, the, for whatever reason, maybe the page name in the back end isn't exactly a match for what's on the front end. You can also just come right here and go to whatever page it might be that you're looking for, find it on the front end, and then you can hit edit page right here on the front. Uh, can make it very easy to find your page that way. I think that is it for our very basic overview. Again, when you land on the dashboard, uh, you can find your tutorial videos here, including this one. There will be a scroll bar here after we add more, and you'll be able to see those uh, come up in this window. Uh, when you are on pages or guides or anything, you can change the number of items per page right up here under screen options. You can sort these by their name, by their publish date, by who created the page, whatever that might be. And you can also find the page from the front end and then click edit page right up here in order to, um, to edit the page that way. Thanks so much.